Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be making a delicious batch of turkey pastries. So just recently we put out a video for meat and veggie pastries and of course they were so delicious that we had so many requests people asking for more. So what I'm going to do today is use up my leftover turkey that we had frozen and we're going to put that into the filling of those pastries. So if that interests you, let's get started. So what we'll do first is uh, make our pastry. So I'm just going to be putting in a half a cup of butter or margarine if uh, you don't have access to butter. And I'm gonna make these delicious pastries. So I'm gonna pulse it in this uh, food processor and get it done quicker for me. So what I'll do is just pulse this here. We'll get this going, making the pastry. And then after what we will do is uh, get going on making the filling, which is the turkey filling. Half a teaspoon full of sea salt and half a cup, of course, of the butter or margarine and two cups of all-purpose flour or flour of choice. Get all of that going and I got one cup of water. I'm gonna add that in there now very shortly. So I'm drizzle in that cup of cold water until it comes together and then I'll take it out onto my countertop. So that's all we need to do there. Now I'm gonna take it out onto my countertop and then we can bring it together then. Pretty much we're gonna finish this off on our countertop. I mean, you can do this with your hand. I've done it lots with my hand, but today I just wanted to put this together quickly by putting it into this mixer. So we're just going to bring it together here now. You're adding another little bit of flour if you want to, just to, uh, to get it all combined. And as well, you can wrap it in some clear wrap and put it in the fridge and let it come to a little, it will get the butter a little bit hard and then uh, take it out then and mix it. But right now, what we'll do is get started on our filling for the turkey on the inside of these pastries. So the last time we made six out of this batch, now it's up to you if you want it to go six or eight, um, that would be totally up to you, of course, if you want them smaller. Um, I think I might make three average and then two small ones. So I'm going to put this to the side, bring in my frying pan. And what I'm going to do here is add in about a tablespoon, two tablespoonfuls of butter or margarine. And I'm going to add in there a medium onion chopped. We we'll get this frying now over on our stove top. So pretty much all we're going to do here now is get this butter melted and get these uh, onions fried, just part fried, just until they're, um, you can see through them. And um, I'm gonna add in an half a teaspoonful of pepper and a half a teaspoonful of sea salt or salt of choice. I mix that in there with it as well. And we'll just let it fry. Now you just let it fry like this. It's almost ready then to go to the second step. And if you don't like onions, you could use something in that or repl replace that, or just leave it out all together and go to the next stage. So what we're going to do now is add in there two tablespoonfuls of flour. And if you can't use flour, you use cornstarch. So just let that flour or cornstarch cook off there a little. And then I'm going to put in here um, half a cup of evaporated milk. You could use milk of choice and let that just cook there for a little. Now when you see that it's starting to get a little thick, just thin it out a little with some um, chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever you got available. And this is about a half of a cup. Just pour it on in. I'm going to put in there one clove of garlic. I'm going to just 
press it in but you can you can grate it or chop it that's fine as well and at this say at this stage if you wanted to add flavors that you enjoy and build those flavors you might like curry you might like a little bit of hot sauce you just take in uh, in account that we're going to be making a chicken filling here today and so anything that you feel blends well with that i'm going to be putting in there a cup of mixed vegetables but you could use again a vegetable of choice could be peppers or whatever you enjoy just mix it on in through and of course Raymond just pointed out <laughs> that I'm not cooking a chicken filling here today I'm cooking a turkey filling but I was thinking this would go well with chicken as well hey eh, Raymond you oh, definitely. you know if you if you don't have turkey available and you got leftover uh, chicken of course you could use that um, yeah. would be lovely but we're making turkey here today so I need to get on track <laughs> one cup of uh, I'm glad you said that. I know right one cup of cheese of choice I'm just using uh, a three uh, um, blend cheese here now a sharp cheddar and a gouda and it could be matzo so it's just what I add in the fridge. So I'm just going to mix that through and just put this on a simmer because I'm going to go back now and we'll cut up the turkey this, into chunks. This is another one of them affordable meals type things. It is it? because it's pretty much what you got left in your home. Yeah. You know, you could use it for leftovers. And this simple roux that we made there, the sauce, mm -hmm. that could be blended into a lot of different meals that you're making. And that's all we're doing there. I'm so glad that Raymond is listening to me here today because, you know, I get excited about food. <laughs> and sometimes I'm thinking one thing and I'm saying something else. And I don't know if anyone else out there is like that. But, but I guess we're all human when it comes to that. You know, Sivani, after 40 years, Yeah. you know, you got to give us a break. Uh, I do have to listen to something, <laughs> especially when I'm on this side of the camera. This side of the camera, and you're looking at some leftover turkey. Yeah. That you can have a little munch on. Exactly. Right? You know that I'm. I might. Uh, I'll have one little. <laughs> there you oh, go, Mr. H. Uh, so Mr. just H. cut this into chunks like this, and again, you can do it with. Um, turkey uh, chicken or I'm gonna say even pork here if you want it if you have some pork line uh, roast left over and about two to three cups certainly would be good and have it already cooked so you don't have to be overcooking um, that sauce while waiting so you're using your leftovers on this one and that's all you need to do there what I'm going to do now is toss that chopped turkey into um, the sauce and I'm going to fold it in with the cream all of that filling of course is going to be absolutely delicious in that pastry so I hope I'm making you hungry with this extra pastry that we're making here today and again flavor it up flavor it up the way you like it no worries because you're going to be eating this and taking it to work and and your family is going to love it, eh? I can even <laughs> picture just a spoon here now, like, you know, just... Okay, Raymond, uh, we, we will give you huh? a taste. Uh -huh. Eh? There you go. You know, it works good to be behind the camera sometimes. <laughs> it ah. certainly do, and you got a lot of advantages a lot of us don't have over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to toss in here, too, a couple of sticks of uh, green, um, green onion, just for that added flavor. And that's all we need to do there. Now let's get back to our pastry. So I'm just gonna dust it a little with some flour and I'm gonna roll out this pastry. So those of you that seen that video from just a few weeks ago for the beef and veggie pastries, pretty much you're doing the same thing with this, only we're using a different filling. And you can have those pastries whatever size you want. Maybe the ones that I had there was way too big for you. If that's the case, just make more out of the pastry instead of what I did. So now what we're going to do is take up a nice helping of that filling and put on one side. 
And now we're going to fold over, just tucking in the sides. I usually fold it up like this because we don't want this sauce, this filling, leaking out. We want all that turkey filling to stay inside. If it's a little sticky, take a little bit more flour onto your fingers. That would help uh, alleviate that and make it easier. So just fold it like this and pinch it. And that's what it looks like. So roll out your pastry about the size if you would for a pie crust, if you're making a pie. And that would give you that nice flakiness, of course, because this is a delicious, this is so good. I mean, I can have this meal every day, but just using a different uh, protein in there or making it all veggie, it doesn't matter. So after you've rolled them all out, got them all filled, then you're gonna melt some butter or margarine, whatever you got available, and dust each one with it a little, just to coat it, and then we're gonna put it in a preheated 375 degrees of heat Fahrenheit in uh, for 40 minutes or less. I guess until um, it's golden brown. And then I'm gonna show you what they look like on the inside. Our turkey pastries are baked. Smells absolutely amazing in here. I'm going to glaze them again with a little small uh, brushing of the butter and then I'm going to cut into one, show you what it looks like. Look how lovely they look. And of course, nice and golden brown on the bottom, a light golden on the top. I'm going to put this one over to my plate. I'm going to cut into it. Of course, it's going to be hard to resist. Is, is <laughs> I know for a fact, I think that one Right there. Yes, it's yours. I know that, Raymond. I'm going to put these out of the way and bring this over so we can cut into it. I got some mother's mustard sauce there, a nice hot cup of tea. Now let's talk a little bit about this. So, of course, you could use whatever you want as a dipping sauce. I just love that mother's mustard sauce, and I'll share that with you. Now, just look at the inside of this delicious pastry and steaming, piping hot, Raymond. Of course, mm -hmm. you know you burn the roof of your mouth if you <laughs> taste that there now. And I mean, who don't like this? And of course, a, a to-go meal, affordable to-go meal. You can make it with turkey, leftover turkey, leftover chicken, leftover pork. How wonderful is that? I would say definitely wonderful. <laughs> Of course, I made some dollar fries. Raymond calls it. They're off to the <laughs> side. We've done it in our air fryer. And I'm going to show you this cute little um, <laughs> lunchbox. Uh, of course. When I go to school. Well, you know what? This is a meal to go. <laughs> so, I mean, your, your little ones is getting ready to go to school. Are you going to work? Of course, Raymond bought this one for me when we retired back in 14, I think it was. Yeah. He was thinking, if I wanted to take a lunch with me when I go to work, then I'm thinking, I'm in those. I could just eat right <laughs> from the food that's on the table. So you take it, put it into a bag. Of course, when it's at room temperature, pop it into your lunchbox, close it down, and you know, you have a see, meal to go, right? A reason behind buying that lunchbox means it has extra dishes that I don't have that to you don't wash. have to wash, yes. Because you just got your lunchbox. Well, box. now I'm going to have a little taste. I'm going to have a little bit of that mother's mustard sauce on it. A little taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So perfect. The taste of the turkey, of course, the cheeses and such. But it's just all that together into a pastry. I love it. I can have this breakfast, dinner, and supper. And I'm sure we can. Two thumbs up by myself and Raymond. Of course, he's waiting for he's there, but even mm -hmm. sampling, you know. Well, you get, that's part of the job, sampling. Sampling. Yeah. I'd like to say a big thank you to the viewers that uh, said 
they like to see more of those pastry uh, to go meals and of course made in different ways so I hope this one in, uh, appeals to you and you like to make this one as well um, also if you want a copy of this recipe is going to be posted at the bottom of this uh, video and of course the subscribe button is there if you haven't already done so we thank you in advance and as well our website www.bandidaskitchen.com you can print a recipe there if you wish you can also visit us on our Facebook page. Send us a message at bunnydakitchen at gmail.com. If I haven't answered one of your messages in a while, I can see it there. And as well, send us a message on YouTube here. And we love reading each and every one of them. And thank you in advance. Get creative with these delicious little pastries. Put in it what you enjoy eating. As well, we'd like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today. We know your time is precious and we're not going to take any more of it. On behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, you have a wonderful day from our kitchen to yours. The next time you're visiting Newfoundland and Labrador, don't forget to check out the beautiful town of Victoria and join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Join us by the sea. Journey and culinary, always an open door. Benita's Kitchen to yours. Benita's Kitchen. Benita's Kitchen.